to my channel Reclaim and Jen where moms can take a break from the busy mom life and focus on their own needs, wants, and goals. On my channel, I talk about online teaching and how I have built my own business, quit my teaching job, and I work from home and I love it. In this video, I am excited to talk to you about what I am using in my business. First things first though, what am I teaching? I am teaching, where am I teaching? I'm teaching on OutSchool and I'm teaching privately, my own company, reclaimingteaching.com. And so within those two, I teach three main subjects. Um, one is of course ESL, that's where I started teaching online with VIP Kid and GoGo Kid. I uh, am not using Zoom anymore for my private classes. I'm so excited to announce, well, to, to repeat announce that I'm using Koala Go and I love it. So uh, if you're not hopping on the Koala Go train yet and you're teaching online children, you need to, okay? Invest in your business, hop on Koala Go. Uh, the team there is amazing. They are amazing. And then the team of uh, people that are there to help you, remember on VIP Kid where you could like call a fireman? Koala Go has firemen, okay? Zoom does not have firemen and Koala Go does. It's amazing. And frankly, I've rarely had to call on the firemen at Koala Go. So kudos to that. The team is just growing. The, the platform is growing and it is a lot of fun. So uh, high five, 10 out of 10 for Koala Go. Not even kidding. Invest in Koala Go, okay? Message me in the comments if you want me to make a video about why I love Koala Go. Let's stay focused here. Um, okay, I already told the other video, in case you missed it, VIP Kid is still not hiring. Imagine that. Um, there's more details in the video that I just posted, so check that out if you uh, have, are interested in an update from VIP Kid. And uh, let's, ta -ta 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 -ta. let's hop right into subscriptions. Um, what I'm using that I pay for, for my business. Remember, I know a lot of people just, they want the things for free, but if you're going to build your business and, uh, retain your clients, you have to invest in your business, paying into it so you can collect. Okay. So here's what I'm using. Uh, I'm using for my ESL classes. I do still dabble in starlight for some of my students. But I prefer abridgeacademy.com. So I have a subscription to Abridge Academy, the middle tier. Um, whatever, there's a, a begin. There's, there's three tiers and I pay for the one in the middle. Uh, I forget what it's called, sorry. But that's the one I pay for. I pay for that for my younger, newer English students. Okay. Abridge Academy is most the closest to uh, VIP Kid, um, where the curriculum is rich, it's um, varied, uh, it's interactive, which works really well with Koala Go, and um, the creator of Abridge coordinates and collaborates with Koala Go, so her curriculum works really well on Koala Go with the kids who can click and drag and draw with their own accord. You don't have to give anyone permission. So that's amazing. Um, so here's why I like Abridge Academy for my younger, newer English students. Um, because of the interactivity, because it has phonics, because it focuses on grammar as well. The stories are interesting. The progression is age appropriate or level appropriate. And I, it's just working really well for some of my new students that I have and some of my um, students that do use Starlight, but I like infuse some Abridge into their lessons too, because I think it's, it's so important. Um, so there is that. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about Abridge. Uh, Abridge has levels one to four available. They also have some phonics lessons and alphabet lessons. So those are separate and um, some of them are free. So if you are interested in trialing uh, some of the lessons, there are some free lessons in Abridge. Also, if you wanna try it for a month, you pay for a month and then you can quit. Um, poor Katie over there is probably wondering, why does this girl like come on and then come off and come on and come off? Uh, it just, it really depends on, you know, who 
I'm teaching. And I have about 10 lessons a week that are ESL. Okay, so I don't have a whole boatload of ESL students because I'm also teaching math, reading and spelling on OutSchool and with my private company. So I, I don't have like a whole, it's not like for you a VIP kid for me anymore where everything's just ESL. Okay, staying focused. Um, so there's four levels on Abridge. Some of the categories or units are um, art, fruit, weather, toys, pets, sports, clothing, uh, safari animals, zoo animals, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, body parts, that sort of thing. Okay, and then what's included is grammar, numbers, reading, phonics. Um, what is amazing is that there is a there are reviews. So um, once you're at the end of the unit, there is a review lesson. Um, there are preview links to send to parents, which are easily accessible in China. And uh, there's a workbook or worksheets. There are flashcards for the unit. Like it's amazing. Um, so yeah, that is why I love Abridge so much. And so just to break it down a little bit, level one, there are 10 units. Level two, there are 10 units. Level three, there are 10 units. And level four, there are eight units currently. That's what's happening. And the phonics lessons that are separate, but still included in my middle tier um, payment subscription is uh, in development. So there are only some lessons for Abridge. And I'm sorry, for phonics, it's in development. Uh, I'm really excited for that to um, develop because then I can also use it in my reading and phonics and spelling classes that I do on out school and privately. So it's going to be a awesome addition. I have used some of them with my other non ESL classes. So yeah, loving it. Um, there are playgrounds that you can purchase extra on Koala Go. So you can do your whole unit and then you can bust on over to the playground and, um, what's the word, uh, consolidate the learning in the playground. And I think you can probably do, um, it in, in tandem as well. So those are available. Emily, um, Radecki from Koala Go, amazing playgrounds, amazing playground stories she makes. Um, fantastic. So that's there too. Come on. It's a great collaboration. Okay. So that is Abridge. What do I use for my older students? Because I do have older students um, that I'm teaching ESL to, and I use superenglishesl.com. Uh, I have dabbled with a couple of other programs. Gosh, I feel like I've tried all of them. Uh, and this one I keep coming back to. So Shane from superenglishesl.com. Thank you. Uh, the lessons, the topics, the unit topics are amazing for my 13 year old, um, student in Beijing who, you know, is overloaded with homework. And I hope that these lessons give him a little bit of a break from how he's feeling about his lessons. I've got a cat over here wanting to come in the window, probably wrecking my brand new screen I put up last summer, but, uh, she's going to have to wait. Okay. So super English, it has six levels. Okay. Level one has a four unit. So in development, level two has eight units in development. Level three has 19 units, level four and five each have 20 units and level six has 14 units. So I have actively been using level four and five right now. I have dabbled in level six and I just want to tell you some of the topics that they have in these units. Time out. We're good. Um, some of the topics, like one that's in development right now that he's working on is child prodigies. That's pretty cool. Um, video games, world wonders, and natural disasters. How to survive animal attacks is a unit I just finished with my student. And dangerous jobs is another one I'm hoping to do soon with him. We are doing extreme sports right now. And um, cultures is another one that I'm hoping to do soon. Uh, I think Thailand was one of them. Ooh, Korea, I don't want to, uh, I didn't write them down, so I don't want to be wrong, but 
yeah, really fascinating, interesting topics that I want to learn about. So I'm excited that my students want to learn about them too. And what I do is let the student choose um, the next unit they want to do just to keep, you know, to give that choice. And so I don't do them in, um, in order. Shane, am I supposed to be doing them in order? Um, yeah, so that's just what we do. And so, yeah, that is for my older students. Okay, and moving on, checking my notes. Okay, here is my list of other subscriptions that I have um, for my business. Remember that I teach math, a lot of math classes, um, kindergarten to grade eight math. Uh, I'm from Canada, so I say grade eight math uh, instead of eighth grade math, usually. So, um, what I'm using for spelling reading, my3readers.com is my newest subscription. She has amazing uh, spelling and phonics resources that I just use. A lot of her content is boom cards, um, so I like that. There's also like printables that you can use in your online classes. Um, but like from basic levels, like um, grade one in kindergarten phonics, to what I'm using the most is I have older students, uh, fourth grade, fifth grade, working on uh, spelling and improving their reading. And we are working through um, other phonics like um, conventions, um, turning bunny into bunnies and what do we do and doubling the consonant, those types of things. She has all of this laid out. So it's uh, an amazing resource. She just opened a subscription program within the last couple of weeks. So check that out, my3readers.com. Now my only, mm, if I had to like uh, say something constructive criticism with my3readers.com, she doesn't really answer back my emails. So some basic questions I've had, which is not the end of the world that I haven't gotten an answer yet, but that's something I have noticed is that if I ask a question, I am not getting an answer so. But anyway, moving on, it's okay, we're all busy. Um, Wordwall. Wordwall recently changed um, from free to paid. There is a loophole that Katie from Abridge told me about. Um, I didn't feel like I wanted to uh, have the extra step of the searching that I was doing. So I have paid for the subscription. I use Wordwall in every class, literally every class. So another investment with my business. I can easily find what I'm doing. I can make my own um, activities and I can edit other people's activities to make them exactly what I need for my lessons. And so that's my, one of my other new subscriptions is wordwall.net. Highly recommend. Education.com is one thing I've been using for right from the beginning. Um, I'm using education.com. Uh, it's kindergarten, preschool to eighth grade content, uh, games, online exercises, like interactive click it kind of thing, um, workbooks, worksheets, uh, printables, they can be printables. You can send the kids activities and they can do them and they, you can see how they did on them. Um, so I, I use that less. Um, because most of the time the parents don't actually use what I sent. So that is a great feature that I, I wish I could use more, uh, if I had more parent participation. Um, what else? I already told you about Koala Go. Get it. Um, I only use Zoom. So I was at one point paying for Zoom when I wasn't sure I wanted to go with Koala Go. So I did give some money to Zoom. Um, I have no regrets uh, canceling that and um, continuing to subscribe to Koala Go. Zero regrets. Regrets. Okay. Um, and the last thing I want to tell you is that I'm using Stripe. So some of you may be starting out and need to know how you collect your payments from people from around the world. And Stripe is the way that I do that. Uh, you can set up WeChat Pay. Um, the parent can pay with credit card. Uh, it's so easy to make um, invoices and the only thing I'm about to do like probably today is try to connect Alipay with it because I have a new parent who wants to pay with Alipay. So I have tried in the past to connect it to my Stripe account without um, success, 
but uh, that was a while ago and so I'm willing to try it again. I can't see why that's uh, going to be a problem, but I will reach out to the Stripe um, online chat and they should be able to help me. So that is my video, you guys. Um, I hope you can tell from the enthusiasm. I know I don't come on here very often, but I just want you to know that um, with things that have happened, you know, a lot of people have left to online teaching and gone back to in the classroom or onto other endeavors. And if it's still in the back of your mind that, you know, you either want to hop back into online teaching or start online teaching, please reach out. I would love to share my experience with you. Um, and yeah, maybe if you reach out uh, and it's free, maybe I'll realize, oh my gosh, I need to start another side business and it's going to be consulting. <laughs> I'm not prepared to do that, but, uh, I mean, you do have to look at all of the avenues when you are a business owner. So thank you again for watching and listening to me blather on and, uh, with excitement about my business. And, um, by the way, I do want to say one more thing that I think is amazing about my business is that I make my own hours and I make my own rates. Okay. Even working for out school, it, they take 30%. I rate, say this is my rate, and then I tack on their 30% and the parents pay that, okay? So I am getting paid what I believe I am worth, okay? With 18 years of classroom experience and da -da 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 -da, almost five years of online experience, charge what you are worth, invest in your business, and do a great job every time. All right, and communicate with your parents and encourage them to encourage, uh, communicate back with you. Um, teamwork, making the best for your students. The, the people who will refer, say, hey, I've got this great teacher online if you need someone. That's how it goes. So that's my story. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I don't know when it will be, uh, whenever the inspiration comes. But if you want to see more and you want to see that Koala Go video, let me know in the comments. So long for now. I will see you in the next video. Bye.